Hi everyone, uh, and I'm in this kind of different camera view, like all my cubes is, are over here for some reason, like, and I feel like moving all my cubes from here to here, so I just moved my chair, so, yeah, whatever. And I don't really have anything special to do today, I'm just gonna talk about kind of random cubing stuff, stuff that I kind of normally talk about in a status update video on my regular channel, but it makes good vlog content here. First off, the Gigaminks. <laughs> I have more to say about it. You know, first off, I really wasn't interested in it. So, you know, I'm very interested in V-Cubes, and you've seen that I've made video updates about their website, like when there was a price change, or when they added a new product, or V-Cubes when V-Cube Blacks went out of stock, so stuff like that. So, why wasn't I like that with, you know, the Gigaminks, you know? Well, the reason why is I believe I really didn't have a mindset that was interested in it. Like, I had seen Gigaminxes made by custom builders, so, and some of them were for sale, and I'm sure, you know, like, way too expensive. So, I just developed a mindset that just really wasn't interested in them. So, when I saw that they come out, I'm like, oh, okay. But then I started, you know, watching these videos and reading the topics on twistypuzzles.com, and I'm like, oh, why aren't I as interested in these as in the V-Cubes? So I have now gotten very interested in the Gigaminks and am very excited for me to receive one. And Ubuntu Cuber should be getting his Gigaminks today, so he'll be able to send mine very shortly. So, ha, I'm very excited about it. And as for the cube for you springs that Chris Bird recommended, and a lot of other, I've been reading. Yeah, I actually read through all 258 posts. That's how much there were when I read it, at least, on TwistyPuzzles.com about the Gigamix. It took me like three hours. <laughs> so yeah, I like took most of Sunday afternoon to read that. But anyway, it's very interesting. So. I went ahead and bought some screws and springs, and they are currently out of stock on Cube Free website, but as I saw when I read through the topic, uh, girl, my sister's playing the piano, but whatever, I'm not going to wait until later to record this. So, and one guy said to check out nicepuzzles.com, that's eh, that's 9spuzzles.com, and sure enough, they were for sale there. and. They were, oh, I forget, they're in some other random currency, and I picked out three sets, so that's 18 sets of screws, springs, and washers, and uh, yeah, in case I lost a few. And with shipping, it turned out to be a little more than $6. So, and I believe the reason why they are better is because the screws that come with the Gigaminks aren't long enough. So you can't, you, you can't loosen it enough, loosen the Gigaminks enough so that it's comfortable tension. So I suppose, so it sounds like these screws and springs that I just ordered will allow me to do that. And some of you may think this is a bad idea, but I am going to try to lubricate it with Vaseline. Because, you know, it dissolves the plastic. It helps break it in. So, but don't worry, I'll clean it out after about a month or so. Actually, no more than a month, because with a puzzle that complicated, I really don't want to screw anything up that I... Yeah. So, and then I will lubricate it with Jigaloo. So, although CRISPR didn't recommend that, but really, I don't want to go get CRC at Walmart when I've already got spray. And I would like to know how many people bought the DIY version of the Gigaminx and how many people bought it as the assembled version, because I want to know like what I should set priority to in my tutorial on how to take apart and reassemble it. Because for those, if like there's a lot of people who bought it assembled, then I'll put how to take it apart at the beginning of the video. But if more people bought the DIY version, then I'll put how to take it apart at the end of the video and then just start with on how to assemble it. So yeah, let me know about that. So anyway, and I also plan to also make updates about new coming puzzles. So like if a neat puzzle like the Holy Mega Minx or the 3x3x4 cube comes out, then I'll probably, it'll make an update video about that telling you all. So yeah, 
Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel so that you know about it. <laughs> and it looks like the Cube for You company came out with a version 4 of the 3x3x4, claiming that it is better than the version 3. And I am assuming the version 3 was the one that it came out like last month. So if anyone can clarify on that, you know, just post a comment. So, but probably only if, you're, if you've watched it. Yeah. Never mind, a anyone can tell me. So, yeah, just let me know on that. And so if it is better, then I'm glad I didn't buy one right away. And, okay, I believe that is everything I have to say for now, so I will go on to the challenge that Thrust talk about. Okay, and just a note, I did scramble this using the algorithm that Thrust gave me, and I had to solve the cube before I could scramble it, and I screwed up, so now I'm to a regularly scrambled cube, and I really just don't want to scramble it again. I mean, it's just such an annoying to solve it, and then have to carefully go through that really long algorithm. Anyway, so, yeah, I'll be solving this with a random scramble. It doesn't, in my opinion, scrambles don't make much of a difference because, you know, your overall time really is based on more of a factor of how you solve it, like in the beginning. Like, you could have parity if you start with the yellow side instead of the white, so, yeah. And, anyway, since this is a 4x4 solve, I'll probably just upload this to my regular channel. So, yeah, here we go. Oh, and just to let you know, there is a black, or there's a place where I'm missing the tile on this. It's supposed to be a green... I think a green one, so a green tile. Just let you know. Okay, I don't know if that was a good solve or not, but yeah, whatever. I may actually do one next week, just to let you know. Okay. 